It's time for our Seen and Unseen segment, where we peer behind the big culture stories of the day. And this week features Maxine Waters' response to the State of the Union. And it was on BET. Plus, a claim by the star of The Passion of the Christ that the sequel will be the biggest film in history. I'm joined now by Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo of the Will Wilder series. Raymond, first, uh, BET featured a response to the State of the Union a day after the State of the Union. Yes, well, you can't, timing can't be perfect, Laura. And this was uh, Angela Rye, who was introducing Maxine. Let's watch. In case you missed y'all's president's State of the Union last night, spoiler alert, you missed nothing. Of course, we won't spend all our time together lamenting about the walking disaster that is the KKK's commander-in-chief. She joins our special tonight to deliver a rebuttal that will seal the lips on that hole Donald Trump calls him out. Whenever he appears on TV, there should be a disclaimer that says, this may not be acceptable for children. <laughs> she, she should have had the disclaimer for the host of the show. And Ryan has a potty mouth. We, we cut out some of the other things. Oh, no, she we said. cut out the other lines. Where's her disclaimer? Well, first of all, was Maxine Waters, uh, did, did a child make the backdrop for that <laughs> set? What was that? Well, I thought for a minute they went to her live in the parking lot of the Capitol. Yeah, I was like, was wait, wait, angle. where's the car park? That was, <laughs> look at that. Center. Oh, what is it? That's like a white Capitol. I didn't even understand that. But there's always understatement with Maxine Waters, yes. right? Yes. He'll, and he'll never be presidential. Right. And, he'll, and he'll, he'll never be presidential. Let's watch the next one. <laughs> he's not presidential. And he never will be presidential. He claims that he's bringing people together. But make no mistake, he is a dangerous, unprincipled, divisive, and shameful racist. We deserve better. That's why I have called for his impeachment. Some believe it's too early. I disagree. The time is now. What do you what do you say after that? Wait, racist, uh, xenophobic. But they, you know what they should do? They should just have a number for all of the insults. It should be like, well, and then he's one forty three. Why to, say it all at this you're point? If you're going to impeach the president, you have to have grounds for impeachment. No, no, no. Not, I don't like him. He's mean. No, he's, no, no. He, he's angry. He's upset. And the other thing. This is black entertainment Why television. Why is this not entertaining at all? I, I, I what is have, actually so, sort of entertaining? Well, mildly, but I would have preferred Medea doing political commentary. Oh, my God, Medea, that's a great Tyler idea. Tyler Perry would draw a crowd and actually has an audience, and he'd be funny. Well, okay, let's, let's go but to the, let's go to the, uh, the resurrection. Mel Gibson is going to do the sequel yeah. to The Passion of the Christ, which made more than a billion dollars. $600 million at the box office, only $30 million to make. I mean, it's a... It, oh, 600 million. It, yeah, okay. but it's one of the big, the biggest R-rated films of all time. Okay, but let's go to the resurrection. Now, how did this come about? Jim Caviezel did an interview with USA Today where he said... He this played is Christ forward, in the... Right. In the this is going to be the biggest movie of all time, he said. And the media is now going wild. The Today Show said, has Mel Gibson really been forgiven? The guy won a Golden Globe last year for Hacksaw Ridge. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. The Today Show, the with Today all Show. of they that they've been dealing with, right. is wondering whether Mel Gibson has been for, has been forgiven. Let's let's watch what Mel said about the resurrection. Let's watch. And it's not just about a resurrection. It's not the, uh, you know, man comes back, walks through walls, has holes in hands, eats a piece of fish. You know, it's not that. Mm. <laughs> it's it's um, it's a it's a big it's a vast theological experience and I think mm. you need to delve into what that means in in a way that you take that as the centerpiece and you juxtapose it against many things that go on around it ah. and and in other realms mm. so that you you have to under it it gets pretty wild it's like an acid trip but <laughs> I think uh, with the saints it's okay yeah, right it's okay it's okay you have a spirit guide to take you through That's it. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's why they call him Mad Max. Yeah, there's much more to say about this. We'll do it in the days ahead. And he's told me a lot. This is about the fall of the angels, the prophets, right. much more than just the resurrection. All right.